Uh, now, Wynn is live in Sacramento. <laughs> Old Sacramento's catching up with Disney legend Marty Sklar with some other Imagineers as well. Yes, and we've got a couple presents for you, Cody, <gasps> because everywhere I go, everybody loves Cody. I get it because I love you too. Oh. So, one little spark, you gave that to us this morning. And the big man today that uh -huh. we're going to be talking uh -huh. to already signed. Let me find it. Let's see what he wrote. It says, To Cody. Hi, Skipper. I heard you guys talking about it. Everybody, it's the first thing they mentioned to me. <laughs> Keep on making great sparks. Oh, That's so sweet. So they told me a story about the whole Skipper thing. So we said we had to salute you correctly today. You guys ready for it? I'll, on three, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> Boom! That's your special salute. We just came up with that. Isn't that nice? I like it. Very okay. nice. Cute. So now, why we're really here today, right? is to talk about this brand new book, One Little Spark. And we need to talk with Diana Ross, AKA Marty Sklar. I love that Dex on the end was the one who was talking about this is uh, you know, they're here to more or less for him, but they're also big parts of his book. Um, they're one of 70 some engineers that you guys, uh, you spoke with, right Marty? Why did you decide to write, oh yeah, that's right. Let's show everybody, they're all in the picture. Well, this is about half of them. Why did you decide uh, to incorporate other fellow Imagineers in this? Well, I wanted it to be um, a lot of different opinions about how to uh, get started with a career, how to uh, build your career, uh, because there's not just one way. And uh, I think it's a mistake for young people to think there's only one way to do things. So I wanted as many uh, different I ideas as possible. And uh, so I sent out a, uh, an email to about 125 Imagineers and 75 of them wrote something for the book. And it's in, they're all in the book. That's amazing. So, Dex, you have to tell me what we were talking about this. What was it like when you responded and you found out you were going to be a part of this book? Uh, extremely nervous, uh, but also wanted it to be profound, wanted it to be something that was from the heart and something that I actually lived through at Imagineering. So uh, just to give the young uh, <laughs> folks around the world uh, an opportunity and a glimpse into the life of an Imagineer and to give a different perspective to Marty's point. I love it. So we also have to um, ask Alfredo Medina Ayala. Ayala. Did I write it? That's how I asked names, and he immediately like, blurted it out so fast. I was like, can you do that again? <laughs> so how did it feel to be a part of this book? Oh, it was really great because, you know, when you get a note from Marty and, and call to action, uh, it's really an, you know, it's an honor. And, yes, yeah, so it was really nervous. But it, it, he really captures the essence of Imagineering, which is a very collaborative team. And everything we do is in a collaborative and diverse really diverse because you get points of view from all different from all different folks and from different experiences because we all have different life experiences going to getting to imagine it. And I think that ties into what you were saying Marty about how everything doesn't have one way to get to the solution. There's all these different ways. Well exactly we we always uh, it may be a cliche to say that it's a team effort but there's no stronger team in creating a uh, uh, product for Disney's Park than the Imagineering team, and it's, we have about 140 different disciplines at Imagineering, and every one of them counts, Whatever, whether you're doing the smallest thing or the biggest part of the story, nevertheless, it all adds up to the experience that our guests get in the Disney Park. So I had to ask you then, what do you think is the core of this book for people, and what would you say to encourage people to pick it up and read it? and what do you want them to take away from it? Oh, there's so many things, but uh, I ended up with, with uh, 10 different uh, principles that I wanted people to remember. Passion and collaboration and never stop learning. That's a big one because I think there's a tendency to think that if you graduate from college or something like that, you've done it, you know, and that's just the beginning. Uh, you learn so much more by your life experiences and your work experiences, and I think uh, 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 is expressed by many of the Imagineers in this book. I like it, and that's so true. I think, like you said, people having been there, thinking you're done with college and you get this job, you know, that's it, but that's not it. So, you guys you can come and actually meet all of these Imagineers and get inspired by them in person today here at the vault starting at noon. Of course, if you missed all that, the details would be up on our website. So we have to give everybody a proper sign off. You guys want to do our, our little salute again? <laughs> on three, one, two, three.
Uh, and boom! Back to you guys. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Thanks, right. Nat.